Hi guys, I'm sorry I'm not there in person. I'm actually out of the country right now on a work trip, but there is no way I could leave my group hanging. So I'm just gonna be telling you um, virtually my part of the group project. Now I'm Haley and my group did Number the Stars by Lois Lowry and it's my job to do the brief summary. Now when I previously recorded this, I only gave the part um, up until it could spoil the book for those of you who haven't read it but I figured that's no fun and everyone wants to hear the whole story. So I'll tell you when there's gonna be a spoiler alert and you can cover your ears if you don't wanna hear the rest of it. So like I said, we are doing Number of the Stars. Um, it's about a young girl named Anne-Marie Johansson who lives in um, Copenhagen, Denmark with her mother, father, and younger sister, Christy, who is five years old. We later learned that she, Anne-Marie, originally had an older sister as well named Lise, who was killed um, as part of her work in the rebellion movement. Now, this book takes place in 1943 during Hitler's occupation with Nazi soldiers in Denmark during the Second World War. Um, Anne-Marie's best friend is Ellen Rosen, who also lives in the same apartment complex as the Johansson family and lives there with her mother and father. The Rosen family is Jewish, which becomes an issue when they go to church one week and the rabbi lets them know that it's very soon the Nazis are going to begin relocating Jewish families out of Denmark under Hitler's orders. While some families don't take this threat seriously, the Rosens do, and um, both of Ellen's parents um, go with an unknown person um, to hide in safety and Ellen comes to stay with uh, the Johansons. The first night she's with the Johansons, soldiers come to the door and um, barge in, asking where the Rosen family is because they know that the Johansson family is friends with them. They also begin questioning why the Johansson family has a dark-haired daughter when both Anne-Marie and Christy have blonde hair and blue eyes. Um, luckily, as I said earlier, well, not luckily that she's dead, but... The Johansons also had a daughter, Lise, previously, and they pull out baby pictures of Lise with dark hair, pretending that Ellen is also their daughter. Um, luckily, this helps her cover her story, and the soldiers eventually leave believing them. The next day, Anne-Marie's mother, Inga, um, takes the girls, all three, to her brother's house, Hendrik, who lives on the coast of Denmark, um, just across the channel between Denmark and Sweden. We find out later that Peter Nelson, Nielsen, who is Lisa's fiance before she was killed, and Inga's brother Hendrik are both um, actively participating in resisting the regime of Hitler and helping the Jews out of Denmark for their own safety. So once they reach Hendrik's house, under the pretense of a funeral, more Jewish families come to his home, as well as Ellen's parents. And they, um, in small groups, travel to Hendrik's boat um, to hide and try to escape. Okay, spoiler alert. If you don't want to know the rest of the story and you want to read it, stop listening. So the um, Jewish families are at the boat. And Anne-Marie realizes that they have forgotten a very important package that Hendrik has said not to forget and is outside. Uh, she is brave enough to take it to the boat trying to help these people escape even though she knows she'll probably run into soldiers which she does along the way luckily she talks her way out of this um, very dangerous situation and brings them this package which ends up being a white handkerchief we find out later that the handkerchief has certain chemicals on it that helps um or that blinds or i guess takes away the senses of a dog's nose so that when nazi soldiers come to the boat looking for people because they know the Jews are escaping, but they're not quite sure how. Um, the dogs smell this handkerchief and they cannot smell the people on the boat. Um, luckily, everyone makes it out safely and um, Hendrik carefully drops or delivers these Jewish people to Sweden, a place of safety, and returns without being caught. Now, we never find out what happens to the Rosens after this, but the book closes two years later in 1945 um, with fireworks because all of Denmark is celebrating that they are finally free from Hitler's regime. Um, the book ends with Anne-Marie saying that she hopes her friend Ellen is okay and that she one day hopes to see her and putting on the necklace that Ellen once wore, which was the Star of David.
Um, I hope you guys like this brief summary and good luck rest of the group.